Heidi-ho, Weapon Bar Club. Let's make a map today. Okay, so, hm. map. Map for maybe a role-playing game, something like Dungeons and Dragons or something like that. Doesn't matter. Okay, what do we do? Hm. Yeah, let's, let's start with the river. I just start with the river, bigger river. Some small, rocky beds, river beds. Yeah, I'm doing those small crackly things to make it a little bit more interesting. Uh, you know what, it would be fun if there was a small creek coming down a hillside or something. Um, I'm making this up as I go. I. I yeah, just, I'm in my head, I'm, I'm building a, a, a world, I'm building a landscape now. So, okay, so this, it could be, hmm, okay, let's do it like this. This front end here is like grasslands and here is some, some mountains coming up and the, the river is flowing that direction coming from the mountains into the flatlands. And here is this small thingy coming down here. So let's have some rock face going down here. Yeah, something like this. Something like this here is also Rock face here. Ah, here is a waterfall. I love waterfalls. The thing is, I'm mixing the top down and the bird's view in one. Yeah, doesn't matter. It's it's fantasy map. Uh, I like those mixed views. So most of it is most of it is top down as it uh, is usually in the map and the rest is yeah you know you will we will see where we where it's going to so here and this is oh it's it's coming out of a cave something or oh, the shadow shadow here shadow shadow okay so I'm talking while I'm painting, uh, drawing. Otherwise, I and after I don't know why I did something, and after that I made this was unintentional. But let's just use it. A friend of mine once said, "Stick to the lines you got." Uh, this was a I could use a eraser, but why not? Yeah, Dave from Maastricht. Great, great artist, good friend, stick to the lines you got, <laughs> cool thing. Uh, okay, so yeah, but that's, here, so here's the water. Water usually attracts people living there, but why would they live here? I, I just say now they live here. Okay, so we have... Um, I just draw in some basic shapes for houses. Those are some basic houses, maybe one room, two room, a small, small toilet, small toilet here. Hmm. So this is not sharp enough. Okay. I could use those pushy things, but I don't like them. I like the, I like to use the sharpener and stuff. Okay. So yeah, some more houses, maybe some, yeah. yeah. Hmm. 
the workers may live or the families of the workers i guess we need a stay oh let's build an let's build a, a inn or a saloon or it doesn't matter what something where you can eat and drink and hang out because in you don't want to hang out in a one room uh, apartment or house so that is your living room and you spend all your money there you earn in there <laughs> so uh, depending on the setting it could be a wild west thing like a saloon or if it's a dungeons and dragons thing it's just a tavern or an inn or something like that so that's a little bit bigger here and they got this big ass kitchen and and the i think it's called pantry so yeah let's have some doors here already here is the main entrance so and this this settlement is a little bit bigger it's older so let's go for some some more houses ah he earned he's he's been there earlier he he, he built another room to his house because he earned already money in there so okay this is a little bit yeah there you can just walk here no cart go and it is a nice square city city square <laughs> okay the thing is do we want ha huh, we need some kind of sheriff or constable or some kind of law enforcement i guess maybe that's this one and he has so here's the entrance here and uh, here is his main office room and here is a hallway and here he's got two cells yeah two cells here and this is some kind of toilet but they don't go to the toilet they just have a bucket there or something and then the bucket is sometimes it's emptied into the toilet it's just a hole in the ground and sometimes it's not depending on his mood here <laughs> and if he wants to torture them with their own stinkiness so while I paint maps, I come up with those with those small or tiny stories in there. That would be N an NPC. So he can be a prick, but not all the time, depending on his mood or on his alcohol level. He's tanking here. <laughs> tanking is the wrong word. Uh, tanking, yeah. I, I thinking of the German word tanken that's uh, fueling up <laughs> so okay yeah and then we got some stables here here are some stables you can rent a box for your horse if you like for horrendous prices because he's the he's the best earning of them all um, the, all the workers work 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 get money drink 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 and he's getting all the money and he's ah maybe they are brothers so they're in oh yeah they are brothers and <laughs> um they are like the 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 mayor and the executive here like the sheriff or something and they get all the money they share of course so if someone is not paying here, it goes in here until he pays and then goes back here and stuff. So yeah, but we need a mine. So why would someone be here? There's just desert or, or grassland. Maybe some some uh, beef can be produced here, but I guess no cornfields and stuff like that. So they want to mine something in the mountain so we got this entrance building thing just if there's rocks falling down doesn't fall onto here if it's raining the water is not going directly into the mountain so they started to dig straight into the mountain yeah really straight into the mountain and they built a small 
railway to take out all this kind of all the rocks they are taking out they don't want to carry it or with a wheelbarrow or something they 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 have those small carts where they can push everything out maybe with a horse pull it out or something okay yeah but it, this has to go somewhere maybe here is a stop so ding 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 and some more of those i don't know what they are called in english you know the wooden thing is where the railway is lying on and here needs to be a production site so we have here we need some kind of crane uh, some kind of crane so the important thing is or the nice looking thing is could be painted as 3d objects so hmm yeah okay now I'm, I'm saying something and I'm a little bit nervous because I'm also filming it <laughs> okay it's there is a box up here and there is a legs for the crane thing it needs a counterweight because the stuff in the cart is really heavy he's picking up the whole cart and then dumping it in here maybe so okay so here's the crane that could be a that could be a quest hook something is wrong with the crane it's haunted or it's um, bandits try to destroy it or they want to take over the city and they are always going for the production site so they are occupied here and then attacking from this side or something like that we could paint a so here this uh, stick to the lines you've got doesn't work because i'm adding afterwards and uh, yeah so i have to take this out i'm painting one card that should be enough that should be enough it's filled with ore okay oh, yeah but then we have to make this nice again <laughs> sound effects are really important okay what else and then we need some <laughs> some something where it's going in i just paint a house here because at for the moment because i don't know what it will look like inside maybe i don't need to paint that to draw that because you could describe it in a small text or in okay so this is one uh, one room here is one room and then here is maybe a small a small one here and here is the toilet yeah okay. the hole in the ground yeah but this is a richer thing like this okay so the thing is this is really big compared to this one so there are a lot of all of them are working now the half of the population is working here i guess we need more houses maybe we extend over here and uh, but that means we need a bridge hmm. no one wants to live too close to the rocks because maybe it's falling down stuff so we can only extend in this and in this direction so this will be our main road here it's going directly to the bar <laughs> and to the sheriff so uh, let's there's some horse tracks and tracks here and this goes here and mm -hmm. this goes here ha huh, but the thing is uh, wh where does the produce go so it also has to go through there but then this is too much take this away so here here is some kind of it's just a roof and this road goes around here and around here yeah and then off to the next city which is like three or four days away maybe maybe it's just around the corner who knows that's depends on your setting and how you want to play it does not matter 
So we need this bridge, this bridge. Hmm. So if, here is no woods. This and here is a lot of stone and they they work with stone anyway. So this will be a stone bridge. Why should it be a wooden bridge? It needs to be a stone bridge. So we make arches. Okay, it's only a tiny stone bridge. But it's um, strong enough. So the the produce can be moved over it in on carts. I guess it's it's boxes with all the nice stuff. I did not decide yet what it what's in the mountain. Maybe it's ore and stone and stuff, but maybe it's also mushrooms or, or some some funky stuff. Maybe they have two things they are going for. Maybe it's it's some kind of uh, metal and maybe they found out in some oh yes okay so they are mining for metal here and they are mining for metal here and they just started and they are really slow they have to make everything by hand they don't use magic for for getting the ore out of the they are really conservative. They don't like magic um, for working. So you see, sometimes I, if I just draw a line, it's not like a line. I go like, and that's on purpose. Um, I think that makes the line more interesting. And the line itself is living. Sometimes I'm also going over the line several times. Okay. So, and then they found this, this cave. They found here, found this small cave. And in this cave, there is uh, something growing. Some, some, so that they can also harvest and that's used for alchemy or something. So they can sell that. They can sell the ore expensive because there is a big demand and they can sell this to another group, like to wizards or to druids or something. Maybe there's also druids in the, in the, uh, ah, yeah. Yeah, and those here, those are the non-magic users and those are the magic users. So the magic users don't got the same houses. <laughs> yeah, that's good. They. They go for uh, yurts, maybe those round tenty thingies like the Mongolians have in the desert. They go for the yurts. They have this, the magic uses. Yeah. I once stayed in a yurt. It's pretty cool. No, it's not cool. It's as a, it's cool in the, in the slang way. It's, it was really nice and warm protected against sand and wind and so those are the magic uses they have those but <laughs> i like the idea of yurts but it looks like it doesn't look like it doesn't look good so just kill that ha i can make it look better if i paint it in a 3d style so now that's better than a circle with a spot in it. And then they had they had really nice doors over there. So I'm taking reference from a memory I have. Not googling images. Okay, this is totally crooked. <laughs> so if you paint the top down thing a little bit crooked, that does not matter at all. But if you're going for the 3D thingies, uh, it should be it should have the right uh, perspective. Otherwise, it looks not so cool. There are not so many. There are just five. There are not so many magic uses. 
and they have they live in there and they have their production in there they just also just um make a make something out of those mushroomy thingies here that is too steep and go like this okay let's use the arrays again so i'm going for an uneven number in total look makes it look a little bit more interesting okay so those are the magic users those are the they are too big in but it's okay. All right, go for just three. No, that's okay. There are also a force here. But then I want more houses here. Yeah, more houses over there. Yeah, maybe there is a. You also need a shop. One of those is a shop for uh, for tools, and one of it is a is a merchant for tools and and uh, and clothing and stuff. Is is one maybe, and one is I don't know if you, if if they have a grocery store here. Maybe it's just you can only buy food in here. They got them. Monopoly in here on food, water. They don't have a monopoly in water because the water is here, but they have the monopoly on food and drink. And there's this one thing. This is maybe here. They have tools and oh, that's the third brother. So one brother got the tool shop, one brother's the sheriff, and one brother got the inn. And there's a family. Yeah, and the and the mother, <laughs> the mother. Of those three, she is the big boss. The dad is dead long gone. He died in a mining accident. And you know, don't know if it's on purpose or not. But if it was an accident. So, yeah. So here, this big mansion, that is mama's house. Yeah, she is the big boss. It's also two stories high. The only thing that is two stories high is Mama's house. So she's got the stairs going up here. And we have to make the second story somewhere else. Okay, so here, here are a lot of those small caves lot of small caves full of this this stuff oh, yeah, and they're starting because this is harvested empty they're starting to make small tunnels here and the, the magicians have to pay the regular people and the mama of course um, to mine for this stuff and to have those small tunnels made. So the mama is the... Yeah, that's good. That's good. So how long is the video already? I don't know. Oh, it's almost half an hour. I think we should go to an end. Uh, here is trots, trots, trots. Here is some stones, stones, stones falling down. Yeah, here the track ends. So here are all the mushrooms are. Let's make something in here. If you use color, you could use some neon or... <laughs> yeah, I don't go for the color right now. So, for the rock stuff, I always make this to make it a fake 3D look. Yeah. And here is a lot of... And maybe... Oh, nah. Okay. Maybe something is here, but that's for another adventure. So here is, we got we got two factions. Now we got three factions actually. We got the family who's running all the mining company, also owning this and uh, owning the inn, the sheriff, 
the trade post and Mama's mansion. We got the second faction is the workers. Those are the poor suckers who have to work there. They earn money, but they spend it here and here, or they spend time in here. <laughs> and um, we got the the wizards, and the wizards only want this stuff, but but they have to go through the family. So there are a lot of quest hooks here now. So the family could be pricks or not that that's I guess they are pricks because with power comes uh, prickness <laughs> um, yeah so there there could be tension workers against family wizards against family workers hate magic they hate magic no they they accept magic they hate magic so there could be tension um, tension workers family because uh, they want more money. They don't want to give away the money because uh, it's their money, they think. Then uh, next thing, quest two could be something is wrong with the water. There is uh, poison coming down, pollution. Maybe the water is it's running out. Uh, it's drying out, something like that. Another quest two could be earthquakes or something is sh they they duck too deep like in a uh, lot of the rings you know and then uh, not the ball rock is coming maybe a monster is coming is sitting behind there so or it's just regular earthquakes if you don't play too much fantasy um it's instable and yeah something like that so a lot of um ideas what you could do here yeah, some more mountains. This is really steep going up here. Brow, 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 brow. Oh, here is the waterfall. I love the waterfall. Yeah, so this is how I draw maps, how I develop a small s scene. It's Yeah, it's a scene. It's a, a small setting. And um, I will put some color in there on the computer. I scan this sketch, I always scan my sketches, and then I color it in, in Photoshop. I, I have those, I, um, I have a technique developed. Um, but I won't show you that now. I won't, just wanted to show you how I make a setting. So, yeah. I think that's good. Can you see me? <laughs> I think that's good. It's A4 paper, only a pencil an eraser, a sharpener, and uh, yeah, talking loud, creative stuff, getting the idea out there, setting a scene for players to play in. On my Patreon in the Map Makers Market tier, you get access to this and all other future maps. See ya.